Hello and welcome to Maths by Saz. This is my seventh lesson of D1, chapter number nine, exercise 9D. That is about the speed, constant and average speed. Uh, in this class, students will be learning and discussing intermediate level, question number seven. And let me read the question from the book. Question seven says, two points X and Y are 120 meters apart. M is the midpoint. M is the midpoint of uh, X and Y. The object travels from X to M in 12 seconds and from M to Y at an average speed of 15 meter per second. Find, find the time taken for the object to travel from M to Y and average speed of the object for the entire journey. So uh, the question is given uh, about the two points and the distance between the two points is 120 meters up. It's really important to learn the language of the question as well. So uh, let's make some diagram here. Let's make the use of a CPA method so, so that my students can understand this question easily. Uh, look, uh, I'm going to uh, draw some figure uh, for the understanding of this question. The two points uh, X and Y are suppose 120 meters apart. 120 meters apart, okay. Uh, this is X and this is Y. And 120 meters apart means that the distance between the two points is 120 meters. 120 uh, meters. And now the second information is that M is the mid. How to understand the mid? Mid means half. Mid means half. You can take the idea of the perpendicular bisectors that uh, what is the role of perpendicular bisector? It divides the line in two equal parts. So if M is the midpoint, so uh, it means that M is at the half distance from X to M and M to Y. If the total distance is 120 meters, so it means from X to M distance is uh, 60 meters and M to Y as well is 60 meters. Now, uh, the role of the midpoint uh, is I hope clear to my students that it will divide the line in two equal parts and the total length of the line was 120 meters. So, X to M distance or length of the line from x to m is 60 meters and m to y is again 60 meters okay then the second part says an object travels from x to m in 12 seconds okay time uh, is this is the distance okay and this is again the distance and the time from x to m time is 12 seconds 12 seconds and then from M to Y, average speed, speed is 15 meter per second, 15 meter per second. And uh, we have to find in the first part, the requirement is we have to find the time taken to travel from M to Y, time taken to travel from M to Y. Now uh, let's focus our attention on this part of the diagram. We know that the formula for the speed is uh, distance traveled upon time taken. Speed equals to distance traveled upon time taken and what uh, we have to find time. Time will be equal to uh, distance upon speed. Distance upon speed. So very easy question. We are given with the distance. We are given with the speed. So let's move to the solution of A part and for A part it's really important to support your working with statements total distance traveled total distance traveled from m to y from m to y m to y that is 60 meters and the speed speed which is given in the question speed is 15 meter per second and the formula 
uh, basic formula that uh, we are going to use here is that speed equals to distance traveled upon time taken speed equals to distance traveled upon time taken and time will be equal to distance upon speed distance upon speed distance is 60 meters uh, and the speed is 15 meter per second 15 meter per second okay now meter goes with meters 15 ones are and 15 uh, fours are so this is four seconds so the time to travel from m to y time to travel from m to y is four seconds and let me write the information along the question time here we have calculated that is the requirement of question that is four seconds and now the second part of the question says the average speed for of the object for the entire journey average speed for the entire journey will be equal to speed total distance traveled upon total time taken total distance upon total time total time now look uh, total distance we already know that is given in the question total distance is 120 meters total distance 120 meters and total time total time for the first part of the journey uh, from x to m uh, that is 12 seconds uh, plus uh, 4 seconds this will give me 16 seconds okay so average speed speed will be equal to total distance 120 by uh, 16 now we have to go for the cancellation this is not the big calculation so uh, what we are going to do is that two eights are and two sixties are two fours are and two thirties are two twos are and two fifteens are so this gives me fifteen by two or that will be giving me seven whole uh, one by two meter per second so the average speed for the entire journey so the average speed speed for entire journey journey from x to y y is 7 whole 1 by 2 meter per second i hope you are really clear about this question and watch and understand this lesson for better understanding of your o level uh, examination and uh, ptb students can also take help uh, from these lessons please watch and understand these lessons and uh, press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much